Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to a yoga club all about family fun. Fun is great, but having fun with your family is even better. And that's what I hope this yoga club does for you. Let's get into it with a super good family feel good feeling adventure. And when we come back, we'll have some shout outs for you. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our heart and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. I can't wait to find out who our story's about today. So let's have a look through the cosmonoculars. Bringing our thumbs and fingers together, putting them over your eyes to have a look through. <gasps> wow! What pretty colours! All those swooshes and swirls! <gasps> wow! Lovely shapes! Can you see the picture? Oh, I think I can. Oh yes, look! It's a dodo! It's Dodgson the dodo! What's Dodgson doing? He's doing yoga! He's doing boat pose! Wow everyone, we're off to meet Dodgson the dodo! Now Dodgson the dodo is a bird, standing up Take your feet hip distance apart and fold halfway forward. Take your wings down to the floor and then spread them wide like you're a swooping bird. But Dodgson the dodo has only got little wings that are at the side of his body. So he's a bit like a penguin and he can't fly. Now dodos are also extinct. Extinct means they used to live here on our lovely planet, but now there are none left, just like the dinosaurs. Jumping your feet wide, fold forward to grab your ankles and let's do a clump, 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 clump like a dinosaur. Standing up. Now, to go and visit Dodgson, we have to go 500 years back in time. So we're going in a time machine. Spread your arms wide, then join your palms over your head. Let's get in. We come to all fours and we reach forward with one hand and two hands and one leg and the other leg. Now we need to switch our time machine on so we sit with our legs out forward and we get ready to twiddle our knobs bending our knees a little bit to help us lean forwards. Ready? Here we go. There we go. We're all ready to go 500 years back in time. Time for takeoff. We bend our knees up and put our hands behind us and we count down from five to blast off, lifting our hips. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! We lie down on our backs and we lift our legs up to the air, arms stretched out to the sides. Wow, we're going back in time! Can you hear that noise? That's the sound of the ticking time machine clock. Sitting up everyone, cross your legs. Let's do our TikTok mindfulness rhyme. Ready? Tick-tock like a clock until I find my centre. Did you find it? Yay! That means we've landed. Coming to our knees, tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. As we sit up, pop, we pop out of our time machine. And there waiting for us is Dodgson the Dodo. Yay! He's such a sweet little bird. He's got two very long legs. Sitting on your bottoms, stretch out one leg, stretch out two. Two little long legs, very nice. He's got a very long neck. Sitting with your neck very tall. 
and a lovely little yellow beak. <laughs> and he's got a fluffy body. Fluffy, 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 with two little wings at the side. And the only thing that Dodgson can say is, coming to your knees, do 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 Dodgson. Oh, Dodgson, you're great. Dodgson is a very happy little dodo. But he wasn't always this happy. When Dodgson was little, he didn't know who he was or where he belonged. He tells us the story of how his life began. He started life in an egg. Sitting on your bottoms, bend your knees and give them a big hug. Now, can you lift up one toe? Ooh, maybe two. And balance, like a little cosmic egg. Yes, it was time for Dodgson to hatch out of his little egg. Coming onto your tummies, take your hands underneath your shoulders and wiggle, 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 wiggle out of your egg. He looked around, looking for his mummy or his daddy or his brothers or sisters, but there was no one there. Dodgson knew that he needed to protect himself and keep warm, so he built himself a nest. Lying down on your tummy, looking down to the floor, kick your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Then as you smell the flowers, lift up into a nest shape. Yay! Now Dodgson woke up one morning, stretching his little wings up above his head. Oh! And sitting up and doing a big yawn. Oh! Today, he was going to set off to find out who he really was and where he really belonged. He'd seen the birds flying above him in the sky and thought, maybe I'm one of them. So he set off to go and find one to talk to, waddling through the forest. Crouching up on your tiptoes, he waddled through the forest. Do 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 Dodgson. Do 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 Dodgson. He came to a rainbow tree, standing up, putting one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Now grow your tree up tall and open your big colourful branches, twinkling your fingers. Now I wonder how strong you rainbow trees are today. I wonder if I can blow you down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Ready? Do 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 do. Oh my goodness! You are super strong today, but can you do it on the other side? Let's try. Standing with your other foot on top now and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall, open your branches. Are you ready? Here I come. Doopy doopy doo. -do. <sighs> no, I can't blow you down. You're too strong. Now living in this rainbow tree is a whole flock of birds of paradise. Standing all the way forward, take your wings down low and flutter them up and down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dodgson looked up and thought, I'm going to ask them, maybe I'm a bird of paradise. With his wings on his side, he sat up tall and he said, do 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 Dodgson. But all he heard from up in the tree was a titter, wrapping your arms around yourself, and a laugh, wrapping the other way. Dodgson thought he'd better ask again, so he sat up tall and asked his question. Do 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 Dodgson. But all he heard again was a titter and a laugh. Then all of a sudden, down in front of him flew a bird of paradise. It landed and looked right at him, cocking her head one way and the other way. She then said to Dodgson, Go away. Go and find your own tree and your own family. Bye bye. And she flew back up into the tree. Dodgson sat back and hung his head. He didn't like being laughed at, but then he thought, well, at least I know I'm not a bird of paradise. He wasn't going to let this stop him. He wanted to continue his search, so he came to the river. He was feeling rather hot, so he did a big dive in to cool off. Standing up, 
lift your arms up above your head and dive all the way forwards into the river. Spoo! Coming down onto your tummy, he started to swim. As he was swimming, he thought, hang on, I'm swimming. Maybe I'm a swimming bird. Putting your hands underneath your shoulders, lift yourself up. Up ahead, he could see these tall pink birds standing on one leg. Yes, that's right, flamingos. He thought, maybe I'm a flamingo. And he swam right up to the first one he could see. Quick, I'm going to ask. He got right in front of the flamingo, got into position, and in his most delighted, polite dodo way, he asked his question. Do, 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 Dodgson? The flamingo was standing elegantly, her long neck and beak on one leg, trying not to wobble. She looked down at the little funny creature and pretended not to see him, so hopped around to face the other way. Hmm. Hmm. Dodgson thought, oh, maybe she didn't hear me. So he asked again, coming to your knees, arms on your side. Do, 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 Dodgson. The flamingo wanted to get rid of this little creature once and for all. Standing up, turning to the back, lifting up your long neck and beak, standing on one leg, she hopped around to face him, then put her leg down, brought her wings together and bent her knees to look down at him. She looked carefully. Then a look of confusion came over her face as she said, Go away! You don't belong here! We are flamingos and you are... She stopped, still looking confused. Not a flamingo! And then she hopped around to face the other way again. <laughs> oh, poor Dodgson. He sat down and thought, Well, at least I know I'm not a flamingo. From there on, Dodgson got more and more confused. He asked a snake, coming up to your knees, arms on your side. Do, 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 Dodgson. But the snake had never heard anything more silly. Coming onto your tummy, hands underneath your shoulders, strong legs, lift yourself up. The snake said, slow, silly, sausage, it's not a snake. Dodgson got the message. He then asked a monkey, coming up to your knees, arms on your side, little wings. Do 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 Dodgson. He was quite excited about being a monkey, but the monkey had never seen anything like a dodo and jumped out of his skin. Coming up onto your tippy toes, after three, do a big monkey jump. Ready? One, two, three. Clearly, he wasn't a monkey. Dodgson then asked a lion. Oh, come into your knees, arms on your side. Do 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 Dodgson. Luckily, the lion had just had his lunch, but didn't want to be bothered by this funny little thing, so did a big roar to scare him away. One, two, three. <laughs> The last animal Dodgson asked was an elephant. He stood up on his little knees, wings at the side, and looked at the elephant and said, do 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 Dodgson. The elephant had never heard anything more funny in her life. Standing up, legs as wide, and take your little hand behind you for a tail. She lifted her trunk up into the air and did a big trumpety laugh. <laughs> Swinging off, she couldn't believe what she was hearing. <laughs> Dodgson was feeling a little bit sad. He'd asked everyone and none of them had helped him. All of a sudden, coming towards him, was another bird. It had two long legs, a fluffy body, two little wings, a long neck. Could this be? 
but as it came towards him, standing with your legs wide, crisscross your fingers behind your back, it folded forward. And out from behind it, found a huge fan of beautiful turquoise and blue feathers, each with a big eye on the top. This was a peacock. Dodgson came up and he put one foot forwards and one foot back. He put his little wings behind him and he did a big deep bow. He then felt he ought to do it on the other side as well because this was a very special bird. So he put the other foot forward and the other foot back and he did it again. <gasps> then he had to do it. He asked his question. Coming down to your knees, take your wings to your side. Do, 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 Dodgson. The bird sat down with its big peacock feathers falling down behind it, drawing its little feet together and spreading its knees wide. It pressed its shoulders back and its chest forward and it looked straight at Dodgson as he said, I am a peacock and you are a dodo. You are Dodgson the dodo. Now Dodgson, you are the best at being you. You do not need to go and see to be someone else, some other animal, because only you can be the best dodo. Only you can be the best Dodgson. You are perfect, just as you are. As Dodgson heard these words, he relaxed, and his heart filled with joy and love. He closed his eyes, as finally he felt peace. He felt at home. He didn't need to try and be like anyone else anymore. He was perfect, just as he was. Now we lie back and we think about this journey that Dodgson has been on and we let our bodies rest and relax down. And just as Dodgson is the best at being him, we are the best at being ourselves. We never need to feel like we need to be like someone else. We are perfect, just as we are. We can be whatever we want to be. And we lie feeling that stillness, that peace, that contentment to just be. Slowly now we start to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. And we give our knees a big cuddle, maybe giving them a kiss too. We roll over onto our sides and we come up to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on Dodgson the Dodo's Adventure. You were great. I hope you had fun, and I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids Adventure. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Wasn't that fun? And I hope you feel amazing after doing some wonderful yoga together. Now some shout outs. Hello to Isa, who is three, and Rukea, who is one. So glad to hear you are enjoying the yoga. Hello to Amelia, who would love to see a puppy yoga class. Great idea, Amelia. I too am a big fan of pups and dogs and love your picture of Rosie the pup in the car. What a cutie. Thanks for sending that. Hello to Rohan, who is six and lives in Sydney. Rohan would love a science-based yoga class. That would be cool. I wonder what experiments we could do in yoga. Thanks, Rohan. You've given me some thinking to do. And finally, hello to Sunny 
in North Carolina. Thanks so much, Sunny, for watching and joining in with every show we do. I'm so glad you enjoy it. If you want a shout out, you can email me at fans at cosmickids.com. I love hearing your ideas for new yoga adventures, your birthdays, and even if you just want a hello. It's also lovely to hear about what you love about yoga and how it helps you. We'll be back after this for some more shout outs. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our heart and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Three, namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at that. I love all the shapes and the colours spinning around and around. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you see the picture? Yes, look. It's a banana. It's Betsy the banana. Oh, what's Betsy doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing monkey jumps. Oh, wonderful, Betsy the banana. Now, can you see Betsy is in banana pose, coming up to stand. Take your feet together, your hands above your head, and take yourself into a banana pose, leaning over one way and leaning over the other way. Now, Betsy the banana lives in a fruit bowl. Coming down onto your belly, take your feet towards your bottom and reach around to catch your feet. Then lift yourself up, making yourself into a bowl shape. Well done, everyone. Now, Betsy the banana lives in her fruit bowl with her bunch, her family, along with lots of other different fruits. And one sunny morning, she woke up to a surprise. Coming up to sit, crossing your legs, on the edge of Betsy's fruit bowl was a butterfly. Joining the soles of your feet together, hold onto your ankles and flutter your butterfly wings. Yes, well done, everyone. The butterfly was looking at Betsy the banana and it said, Banana stay, Betsy. I am the butterfly of wishes and you have been granted three. Betsy the banana, your wish is my command. And the butterfly stands up. It takes one foot forward and it bows very deeply to Betsy the banana. Betsy in her banana pose, feet together, hands above your head, leaning over one way in banana pose. Can't quite believe what she's just heard. The butterfly of wishes is granting me three. Oh, maybe this is a dream. But quite a good dream, so I might as well go along with it. Oh, I'd really like for my first wish to be a ballerina. The butterfly of wishes gets ready. Sitting down on your bottoms again, joining the soles of your feet together, she flutters her butterfly wings. And then she sprinkles Betsy with something very sparkly and exciting. And in the blink of an eye, Betsy finds herself standing on a stage. She is a real life ballerina banana. She's got pointy toes. Doo -doo. Do, 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 do. She can jump, boing, 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 and she can twirl. Whee! Well done, everyone. Betsy points her toe and takes a great big bow at the end of the music. And as she stands up, oh, she finds that she's back in her bunch, in her fruit bowl, coming into your banana pose on the other side. That was amazing, Butterfly of Wishes. Thanks very much. Mm, now my second wish, I wish to ride a bicycle. 
the butterfly of wishes gets ready. Sitting on your bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, flutter your wings. The butterfly of wishes sprinkles Betsy with her lovely sparkly stuff. And then Betsy is peddling a bicycle lying on your backs, everybody. Crisscross your fingers behind your head and lift up your feet. Betsy's pedalling away on her bicycle, going up hills very slowly and then down hills very fast. She goes round a wiggly road and, goodness me, round another wiggly road. She goes over bridges, coming up to sit, Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you, lift up into a bridge pose. And she goes over bumps, lying on your backs, take your arms wide and lift your legs up straight and hop, bumping up. Now, Betsy even goes past a bus. Take your legs out long and all the passengers on the bus twist to look out the window with their mouths open. They are in disbelief at seeing a banana riding a bicycle. Uh-oh! In the sky, there's a bird and it's spotted Betsy the banana and quite fancies having a banana for its breakfast. Coming up to stand. Take your arms down low. It starts to fly and swoop down. Lift and lower your wings and bend your knees at the same time. Mmm, bananas for breakfast. Betsy the banana pedals very fast on her bicycle. Lying on your backs again, everyone. Crisscross your fingers behind your head and pedal, pedal, pedal. She pedals as fast as she can, but she pedals down the bank of a river and lands with a splash in the river. Coming up to sit, hold your knees, tuck your chin, ready? Rock and roll. And again, rock and roll. Betsy the banana comes up for air, breathing in on your knees, lifting up. And lower down. But when she gets to the top, she finds she's not in the river anymore. She's back in her fruit bowl as a banana, lifting your hands above your head and take them over to one side. Wow, that was an adventure. Being eaten by a bird would have been bad. Luckily, the butterfly of wishes still has one wish to grant Betsy. Betsy thinks, hmm, I know. I wish for me and for my bunch to have a birthday party. <gasps> Sitting down on your bottoms, the butterfly of wishes gets ready. Joining the soles of your feet together, she flutters her butterfly wings and she sprinkles Betsy with that lovely sparkly stuff that does the magic. And bing! The next thing Betsy knows, along with her bunch, she is bouncing on a bounce house. Coming up to stand. Ready? Boing, 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 boing. She's having a birthday party. There are balloons to blow up. Taking your hands around your mouth, blow them up. And she has a birthday cake with candles on it. Lying on your back. Take your arms wide and lift your legs coming into candle pose. Betsy and her bunch blow out all of their special candles. <sighs> Betsy sits up to breathe in this amazing feeling. She closes her eyes and breathes deeply. <sighs> what an amazing, amazing day. As she opens her eyes, she finds she's back in the kitchen, in her fruit bowl, coming onto your tummy again. Bring your feet to your bottom, reach around for your feet and lift yourself up into your bowl pose. Well done, everyone. And along with her are her bunch, who are a very happy bunch now after having so much fun at the birthday party. Now we take ourselves down for a little rest after all of that excitement with Betsy the banana, lying on our backs, getting ourselves comfy. And just for a moment, 
thinking about all of those wishes that Betsy made. And what would our wishes be? We may make wishes for ourselves, but if we have the chance, just like Betsy, we might make a wish for others too, as Betsy did for her family, her bunch. See if you can think of someone and send them a wish, a wish for them to be happy, for them to have fun, for them to find a peaceful place. Send your happy wishes now. And then slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your knees into your chest and roll over onto your side, coming up to sit with your legs crossed and your hands together at your heart. And we'll finish with a special secret yoga code word just for Betsy. Do you remember? Banana stay. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Banana stay. There. Well done, everyone. You did so well being Betsy the banana. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Hello, and welcome back. We are well underway with the family fun now and ready for more of your messages. Hello to the DGS family. What a joy to read your message and a big hello to your daughters, Jade and Nuke. It's lovely to hear that Cosmic Kids has become your way of staying active and entertained in lockdown and that it carries on when it's raining or indoor activity is needed. Lovely to hear that you have transferred the habit from Barcelona to Surrey in Canada. I'm really glad that we have come with you. I agree, the internet is a brilliant thing in this sense. Big love to you all. Hello to Emerson, who is almost five and loves birthdays, so much so that she has been planning her birthday party for several months now. Wow, I am sure it'll be amazing, Emerson. It's great that you do your yoga every day, Emerson, and Encanto would be a brilliant yoga adventure. I agree. I'm hoping I can do it. I'd love to meet you in person sometime too, and thank you so much for your message and appreciation. Hello to Ella, who is five and lives in Utah in the US. Ella is also a big fan of Encanta. Encanto, so is super excited for that yoga adventure. I hope we can do it, Ella, and give you and your sister a real treat to join in with. And hello, finally hello, to Yashvi, who also writes to ask for... Encanto yoga. That's three in a row. Hello, Mr. Disney Machine. Anyone watching? Please, please, please. Pretty please, please. Can we, can we, can we? Let's see if that works. Now to our next video in the yoga club. I'll be back after this with some more of your messages. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Lion pose. Coming down to kneel with your hands on your lap. Now lion pose is brilliant for getting all of your stress out. You stick out your tongue and make your eyes as big as can be. Now we're going to clap our hands on our laps three times together and then come up to do our roar. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oops, sorry, false alarm. Lion pose. Ah, oh, Suki and Scott are brother and sister and a pair of very colourful socks. So let's begin 
in our sock pose. Coming to lie on our backs, we take our arms down by our sides and we lift our feet up to the sky. They live in the sock drawer and when they aren't on someone's feet, they get bundled up together. Let's bundle up like a pair of socks. Coming up to sit on our bottoms, hugging our knees into our chest, wrapping them round with our arms and maybe lifting our toes off the ground to balance. Very good. Mostly they get along and though Suki loves her brother, even when he's a bit stinky, she has big dreams to have adventures and to explore. One day, Suki is daydreaming in the sock drawer. She lies like a lounging lazy butterfly, sitting up with the soles of our feet together, our knees out wide. We take our hands behind our bottoms and shift our hips forwards as we walk slowly down onto our backs, our arms down by our sides in our lazy butterfly pose. Suki tells Scott, I want to travel the world. I want to go to all the places a sock can go. Like the Sockefeller Plaza, the Sock and Roll Hall of Fame, and visit the great sock of Gibraltar. Let's try our spider pose. Coming up to stand, everyone. Taking our feet a little bit wider, we bend our knees nice and deep and take our hands, putting them in between our feet. Now we ticker, ticker, ticker them round the outside and we walk our feet in towards each other, bringing our big toes to touch in our spider pose. No one really bothers me here, so I can relax, spend my time on the web. Just watch out for the cat. The cat. Unravelling our arms and legs and coming up to stand. While Scott lies like a lonely sock on a pile of clean clothes. Let's come into our sock pose again. Coming to lie on our backs, arms by our sides, legs up in the air. He misses Suki and wonders whether he'll ever see her again. Then he hears a cry for help. It's Suki, sitting up, legs long, arms by our sides, alert. Suki needs help. I need help. Scott needs a team. He gently, our arms and our legs feeling heavy as we melt into the ground. Oh, what a story about Suki and Scott, the socks. And some of us have brothers and sisters, and yes, we can annoy each other, get on each other's nerves, have, a, have disagreements. But really, underneath all of that, we love each other. And we will always be there for one another. Let's take a moment now to think about our brother or sister, or both. Or if we don't have any brothers or sisters, think about someone you live with. How special and important you are to one another. And how thankful you are for having one another. Slowly now we begin to wake up, wiggling our toes, wiggling our fingers, Hugging our knees into... Before our final video, more messages. And remember, send your emails now to fans at cosmickids.com. I'll be doing all your shout outs much more on time as to when you send your messages. So look out on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram for your special shout outs and you app users over on the app. Now then, who have we got here? Hello to Declan in Winnipeg, Canada, who is six and loves to do yoga each night before bed. Great routine, Declan. Declan. Declan is using the Cosmic Kids app. Well done, Declan. And even sometimes when he does yoga, Declan dresses up to match the theme. So he's got Minions, little hat, dragon cape, my little pony sweater. I love it. That's brilliant. That's what I like doing too. I love your ideas for new adventures as well. More superhero hero kids yoga in space. Yes, let me know which heroes you'd like to see. Julia Donaldson, Zog. I love that. Wildcrats and 
in Kanto. Oh yes, it's great you enjoy so many of the Cosmic Kids videos and I'm glad you found us in lockdown. Keep it going, Declan. Hello to Mum, Lisa and daughter Adeline who have been enjoying the space yoga videos into their, and they've wound it into their homeschool preschool routine. How cool is that? It's lovely to hear how you practice yoga together and I'm glad it's helping both of you. Hello to Sarah, aged 11, and Savio, who is three, in sunny Dubai. I love your ideas and will add them to the top 10 most requested yoga adventures. Yes, Miraculous Ladybug, that is up there, and Paw Patrol. They've both had loads of votes. Thanks to you both and love to you in the UAE. And our final hello goes to Mayer from Toronto in Canada. Mayer is a big Cosmic Kids fan and loves Bunny Bounce, the song. She also loves our dance party video. Such a fun mix of all the discos. I love your picture, Mayer. It's so gorgeous seeing you have such a fun time enjoying your yoga. Time for our last video. If you want to try the app, go and check it out at app.cosmickids.com. And remember, email me at fans at cosmickids.com. When we pause Yoga Club, I'm not going to stop doing shout outs. They can't stop me. There'll just be more of them and more often across all the video platforms. Have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye. Peace out. Treasure Box Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Let's get ready by finding a place to sit down or lie back. Get yourself really comfy, making sure you feel snug and warm. Once you're settled, let's begin by tuning into our breath. We always do this as it helps our body relax and our mind feel clear. See if you can notice your breath coming in and going out. Feel the coolness of the air on your nose as you breathe. If you haven't already, Allow your eyes to gently close so you can go inside for a bit. Now imagine there's a little balloon just below your belly button. As you breathe in, the balloon blows up a little. And as you breathe out, it goes flat again. Slowly breathe and enjoy the feeling of your balloon filling up, then emptying out. Breathing in, filling up, breathing out, letting it empty. Well done. Now see if you can imagine a place, a special place that is all yours. This is a place where you feel relaxed. You feel safe here and happy. It could be a room inside a cosy house, a meadow, a forest, by a lake, or on a beach. Wherever it is, go there now in your mind. See yourself in that place right now. Look around. What can you see? What colours are around you? Blue? Orange? Pink? Yellow? Take them all in. Can you hear any sounds? Birds chirruping? The wind blowing gently? Ocean waves? A fire crackling. Listen for the sounds. You touch something and notice how it feels. Is it cool or warm? Here in your place, you feel 
totally peaceful, happy and safe. You smile to yourself, enjoying your special world. A safe place you can come to wherever you need. A safe place you can come to whenever you need. Here in your place, you have an animal friend. You decide what sort of animal you'd like your friend to be. It can be any animal you like. See if you can imagine it now. It's coming over to you to say hello. You feel very happy to see your animal friend here and follow it as it seems to want to show you something. There's a tree and leaning against the tree is a shovel, a spade. Your animal friend is very excited and suggests you start digging beneath the tree. Your friend helps you to dig and uncover a black treasure box covered in sparkling jewels. Attached to the box is the key. So you open it. Inside are some of the most special things. Photos of you having the most amazing time. The people you love most in your life. Your favourite snack. Mmm. And a note written to you from your very own heart. The letter says that you are deeply loved by your family and your friends. You should just expect people to be nice. You don't need to worry about kids who are mean. And most importantly, love yourself. Love yourself. As you sit there with your animal friend, you take in these words that come from your very own heart. Love myself? Yes, you can do this. You look up at the sky and it fills with colour. The colour of love. You decide what colour that is. You breathe your colour in and out. And as you do, you feel love filling your heart. With each breath, more and more your heart fills. As it does, you forgive yourself for being hard on yourself, for saying negative things to yourself, for not being perfect. You have opened the door to love in your heart. Now you can receive love and give love. Take that with you. Fill yourself with love. Listen to your heart and expect people to be nice. Slowly now, we begin to come back from this magical place, saying goodbye to our special animal friend, giving them a hug and feeling them hug you back. We wiggle our fingers and our toes and we gently open our eyes. Take a moment here before you move anywhere to just notice the feeling you have inside you now. Hopefully you can still feel that sense of love in your heart and enjoy taking it with you into your day. This is Jamie saying peace out. <laughs>